Hi and welcome back to the lab. And today here on the bench we have an ICOM IC7300 and uh, the radio here is uh, dead, completely dead. Uh, it died during uh, operations and uh, it uh, will not do anything. So maybe it is uh, really an easy fix uh, because there is of course a fuse inside but uh, until we have uh, taken it apart we don't know. So let's go right into the, into the repair and let's see what we can do. Okay and uh, here's our radio so uh, let's uh, prove what uh, I've been told. So um, I have not uh, yet uh, connected to the plug to our power supply so I'm doing it right uh, now and uh, you've seen that uh, there was uh, something but uh, now uh, you can see there is no uh, standby current uh, drawn so far it is zero and uh, well let's uh, try here to start our radio no absolutely nothing it is uh, dead as described so that means let's crack open the radio and let's see what's going on here okay so here is our open radio and uh, here on the PA board uh, where we get our power in uh, you see that uh, we have here um, a fuse which of course um, we uh, need to test first so maybe uh, we are lucky and it is only the fuse but on the other hand well if it is um, broken then maybe there is a reason behind anyways let's go and check it here we can see everything we need and uh, of course um, radio is connected to, to the power supply so that uh, we see here yes our um, incoming voltage and of course let's see if we have it at our um, fuse and yes we have it so what is on the other side nothing so looks like uh, we have a faulty fuse okay so let's go ahead the first what we do of course uh, we take here our fuse uh, out and uh, well then um, what uh, I'm always doing is uh, to check if uh, there is uh, a short uh, to ground so um, so it is uh, switched uh, to continuity of course and uh, let me see if we go to our socket here not sure if I get yeah so here we have a connection and no there is obviously no short which uh, is of course a good sign and here we have a close-up of uh, our fuse and you can clearly see that the fuse is done okay so let's uh, grab a new fuse so that is uh, a 5 um, amp, amp version so that is a new uh, micro fuse which uh, we need here and uh, let's put our new fuse in the holder here and then of course we have to check it I mean you have seen uh, we have uh, tested for short um, and uh, we didn't see a short so that is good but uh, that does not mean subsequently that there is um, no uh, short um, anywhere so we still have to expect when we switch it in because uh, you know the voltage distribution will um, coming up uh, afterwards of course um, and uh, if there is somewhere a circuit which is faulty then our fuse uh, might blow again so therefore um, there is still a little risk so let's uh, see what's happened 
So first of all, um, we want to plug it in and uh, what uh, I want to see is what uh, the standby um, current is. So as far as I remember, it should be around uh, 3 milli, 4 milliamps, something uh, like that. So let's see. Oh, it is already turning on. Okay, once again. We have a current here of uh, 3 milliamps, so that is what I wanted to, to know, but the radio was directly turning on, uh, which uh, is uh, really great. So let's uh, see what we have here. Once again, power button, let's see, and it is coming up, as you can see, great. So definitely working, okay. Let me turn down here the volume. So you see uh, it uh, is working uh, without uh, any problems so far. And uh, that means uh, next is uh, we have of course uh, to check if uh, receiver and transmitter are working because still there must be uh, a reason why this uh, fuse blows. We cannot um, check any um, feature in the radio, but uh, what we can do is we uh, look over it in general and uh, see if uh, the main functions are fine. If they are fine, radio can go back to its owner and uh, then maybe um, if he is using it, and using um, a special function feature, um, what we have not tested, that then maybe the fuse will blow again, and then of course we will get uh, back, uh, you know, the radio, and then we know which uh, feature he has chosen, and uh, where finally the fuse was uh, blowing, and then we can investigate that area in detail so that is the plan so first of all um, let's test the transmitter if uh, something is wrong around uh, our power amplifier so um, I have already set uh, the radio to FM so that is very easy because we have a carrier so uh, let's go uh, down here with the power that uh, we can slowly crank it up now yeah let me change the camera position that uh, we have both um, our power meter and of course our transceiver and uh, let's uh, start transmitting so okay uh, it is coming up 15 watt so let's go up here to maximum which is 106 watt output power so that uh, looks pretty nice uh, no problems so far um, I hold it a little bit uh, to see if everything is fine um, and it uh, looks good so far so therefore let's uh, then go over to our receiver test okay so the receiver is working on um, upper side band as you can see and uh, of course uh, you hear the tone so let's go over and check out our uh, figures okay so here we have it but first of all let's turn down uh, the annoying tone and uh, what we can see is that uh, this radio is really able to uh, create a nice uh, sign out so that is uh, something uh, where we see that uh, the audio pass um, and uh, the receiver itself is uh, really working fine and uh, it does so what we see as well is that uh, we are really um, on frequency so um, I'm transmitting with a unit above and that is the reason that we can check our carrier uh, as well. So I am 
uh, transmitting into the radio uh, with 82.2 uh, dBm and uh, I'm going now and lowering uh, our input uh, level to see if uh, still our sensitivity is uh, fine so let me uh, go down here with uh, our level until we uh, go down let's say to 12 uh, dBm uh, 12 uh, dB signet and uh, that is some thing around 14 and it is without uh, pre-amplifier by the way so that uh, is without any amplification in the audio, not in the audio pass in uh, the high frequency pass so I would say we are more or less there of course it is uh, bouncing uh, back and forth a little bit simply because we are noisy and uh, we can hear it that is a noisy signal but it is still readable anyways uh, so with uh, 12 dB and uh, what we can see here minus 120 dBm uh, which uh, is a very nice uh, sensitivity so no question uh, whatsoever everything is working fine okay now we are testing once again a transmitter but now I'm uh, really interested if we are really on frequency so radio is set to 14250 megahertz now let's go to transmit and uh, yeah so you see how nicely this radio is on frequency so that is really uh, excellent so let's see even uh, if we go um, one digit uh, we give one digit more and even here it is really really great uh, perfectly uh, intolerance so that uh, yeah it's really nice it is really really nice okay so what does it mean um, our uh, owner was uh, very lucky because uh, it was only the fuse so we really cannot uh, find uh, another reason so far uh, but uh, as I already told you we uh, need to wait uh, until uh, the owner really tested all functions maybe that we will see this radio back here on the bench uh, but uh, for now uh, we are really at the end uh, of the video so that was easy for me and it was easy for you so we have really uh, a nice uh, short uh, video so not uh, every single uh, problem needs to be that uh, hard that uh, we really have uh, to do a lot of work sometimes it is easy like this and uh, you may agree that uh, this is a fault you can certainly do uh, by yourself Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching and catch you next time. Bye.